Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get Overwatch 2 running on Mac. So the first step is we're going to download Crossover 24. I'm going to go to Safari and I'm going to Google Crossover Mac. Click the top link to go to CodeWeavers.com. We're going to select Mac OS and let's grab the free trial. Enter your name, an email you want to use, and then hit download trial now. Next, we're going to download CX Patcher. I'm going to go to Safari again, and let's Google CX Patcher. Click the top link to go to Italamandara's GitHub page. On the right-hand side, go to Releases, and you should download the most recent version of CX Patcher that works with Crossover 24. So as of filming this video, that's the pre-release version 0.5.0. I'm going to select it, scroll down, and click cxpatcher.app.zip to download. So now that we've downloaded Crossover and CX Patcher, I'm going to go to Finder, I'm going to go to my Downloads folder, and let's unzip the two files. Next, I'm going to grab Crossover and drag it into my Applications folder. Go to your Applications folder, and we're going to find Crossover and launch it. Once Crossover has booted for the first time, we're going to go ahead and quit it. Next, we're going to go back to our Downloads folder and right-click CX Patcher and hit Open. If you get a warning about Apple not being able to check it for malicious software, just hit Open. Once we have CX Patcher open, we need to type in, I will not ask Code Weavers for support or refund. Then hit Enter. So here's our CX Patcher app. We can click Advanced Options to set what we want. For patch Molten VK, let's choose latest MVK and UE4 hack. Choose use separate bottles path if you want to keep your bottles separate. Remove signature can be left on, and I recommend disable crossover auto update. Once you have the options the way you want them, we're going to go back to Finder, go to our Applications folder, find crossover, and drag it into CX Patcher. Once the app says crossover.app has been successfully patched, we can quit out of CX Patcher and launch Crossover. So now we have our patched version of Crossover ready to go. So the next step is to install Steam into a new bottle. I'm going to search for or select Steam, make sure it's installing into a Windows 10 64-bit bottle, and hit install. Once the Steam setup is complete, uncheck Run Steam and hit Finish. So the first thing we're going to do is toggle msync on and off, just to make sure that the patch has properly applied. Next, you can turn msync back on for improved performance, and then also make sure that DXVK is toggled on as well. Next, launch Steam. Make sure to give Steam a few minutes to boot up. Once logged into your Steam account, download Overwatch from the Steam store and launch it. Okay, so once in game, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the graphics settings. Under graphics quality, I recommend setting graphics quality to low and then adjusting from there based on the performance you get. Under video, I'm going to choose 1440p 120 frames per second. And additionally, I recommend turning render scale and frame rate off of automatic to custom. For render scale, let's try 75%. And for maximum frame rate, I'm going to keep it at 120. If you notice that your graphics and resolution settings reset every time you launch the game, we can try to fix this by going to Finder, the Documents folder then finding the Overwatch folder. Open the Settings folder and right-click the .ini file and select Get Info. At the bottom of the window, make sure that under Sharing and Permissions that all privileges are set to Read Only. Once you have your graphic settings how you want them, I recommend going to the Practice Range. It takes a few minutes for the Mac to cache all the shaders for Overwatch, so this is the best way to do that without playing a game. Alright, it seems like the shaders are all cached. 
Uh, so I think I'm ready to play. Now, traveling to the East. 